I'm about to go open the kiln. I think every time I pick up my camera to tell you guys that I'm gonna go open the kiln, I say that I'm nervous. And once again, I am nervous. Um, I think I mentioned that I was trying some new glazes and trying some new things. And so I'm just not sure if everything's gonna come out good. Uh, but we're about to find out in like one second. I don't know why I always need to preamble. I guess I just like, I'm like, thanks for being here for me guys in case it's like really bad. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to go open it. Then I'll come back and get my wagon to like put everything in. But I'm like, I'll just go open it first. Let things cool down a little bit more even. And then go get it and pack it away. Okay, let's go. I just love how punchy and colorful this batch is. I know it's not a lot of actual pieces, but I feel like they look so cute all together. And just like a good reminder of why I love playing with color, it's such a delight to unload a kiln load that is full of color. I don't know. There's just something about it. The tiles turned out so cute. Only this one warped a little bit. Um, I'm also, I'm gonna now put the mirrors in the frames and I'm also gonna attach these little charms to these phases. I think they're gonna be so freaking cute. This one will be discounted because it chipped so last second and yeah. I can't wait to see what they look like with the charms on and then with flowers in them. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited. I was so nervous. Also, I made this one. I might have said this already. I made this one for myself for my birthday. Um, it's a mini domino, and I'm turning 33 this year. The fun part will be deciding like which charms go on which vase. I kind of already have an idea of which ones I want to be grouped together, I think. I feel like one should be really colorful. And then maybe one's a little more neutral, or maybe I split up the color and the nooches. I don't know. Could go many different ways. For a second, but this is what we're doing. <laughs> Baby's first ceramic mirror. I am so excited. She looks so cute. I'm obsessed. I just cut this back a little bit. I just put felt on the back. It's definitely janky. Um, so this will probably be at like a lower price because it's my first time, but I think it could be so cute on a shelf. Or up here. I love her. Yeah. I'm still gonna turn this one into a mirror today just because I might as well. I have everything out and she's still cute. So I had the idea to just use a little rolled up piece of felt to kind of fill that gap. I know it's not perfect, but it felt like a good solution in the moment and 
just wait and trust the process with me. Not the best, but not the worst. I think that'll kind of fly. <laughs> with like a little piece of felt. Finished project with our little felt improv. I mean, it's kind of weird, but I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I'm still gonna bring it. Okay, now we're gonna attach the charms to the vases. I think I know which ones I wanna go with what. I kind of have them laid out. Um, I'm trying to decide which ones go with the natural, which one goes with the white. So this is one lineup. And then this is the other lineup I'm thinking. I kind of wanted all those to be together, but I also feel like maybe not that one. Maybe this one. I want there to be some dimension though, with like long and short and maybe not that there. Like this, 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 this. It's kind of cute. Maybe this over here. Okay, let's start my little jump rings here. We're just gonna go for it. It's just kind of spinning a little bit, but I kind of think that's So fun. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's kind of cool. With flowers, I think it'll be cool. Bag. I'm just calling it infamous. This is the baggie that I made. I was gonna do it blue originally, but Taylor's golf clubs in the back, not cute. 
Um, I was going to do it blue originally and I did it in red. So we're going to add some red bows to it right now. ribbon's gonna work, but if not, I will get a different ribbon tomorrow. Oops, just forgot how to tie a bow really casually. That's cute. Remy likes it. Remy says, yes, we love a purse. Hello, friends. I just got to the farmer's market. I'm going to pick up some tulips right now for the purse vases. I was actually gonna go get some different ribbon for this bag, but I think I'm out of time. And also I think this looks cute as is. Ideally, I'm gonna get some pink tulips for the blue bag and then maybe white, maybe white for the red bag, or I just do pink and both, or like a yellow would be cute. I'm just gonna see what they have. So let's go do that. Okay, these are the tulips that I got, um, and these are for this bag, which is looking blown out because of the light today. These charm vases, which I'm so excited, I'm actually going to put a pre-order a pre-order out for them. They were so fun to make, and I'm so excited. It's going to be like custom pick your own charms. Yeah, I'm excited. That's the plan to take some pictures of those today so I can get them posted on my website and launch them. I was thinking of launching them today, but I think I'll like announce them today and then launch it on maybe Sunday. I got just some yellows and I hope I got enough. Now I'm like, should I just got to be And some pinks. These are gonna be so cute, like in this. Yes. And then I was also thinking today I would take pictures of like everything that I made in case stuff sells today. Like I wanna take a picture of all the chairs, all the bags, everything, all the mugs.
gorgeous. Does that smell like Rima and Mac and Mishi? Yeah. So I figured I would take a moment as I'm updating my website for my shop update to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. If you're not familiar with Squarespace, I've been using them for years to run my online shop. It's a super beginner friendly place to create an online shop, an art portfolio, show off your work. They have so many awesome templates to choose from and I find the interface to be super intuitive. They're customizable, but also great looking on their own if you wanted to get set up quick and change things around later. I love changing up things on my website from time to time. Maybe I'll do a future video on the next switch up. The e-commerce is great and allows me to keep track of the inventory I have. It gives me customer analytics so I can see what parts of the world people are looking at my stuff from. They also have a newsletter option you can use. You can create journal pages or you can create an archive of older work. I particularly really love the custom forms you can set up for checking out. And that's what I'm doing with these little custom charm vases that I made. I want to make a custom option where people can pick the theme for their charms or kind of pick which individual charms they want. So if you're interested in Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash from tree to see to get 10% off your first website or domain. And we'll get back into the video.
feel like I haven't talked to camera in a minute. Um, I have recently gotten a thumb injury. Um, I don't know if it's from throwing because I took like a little break from throwing and then I went really ham. So I don't know if it's from that or if it's just like, I don't know, a repeated use injury. But I, he I put a heat pack on it last night. It's feeling a bit better this morning, but it did start hurting on my way into the studio again today. So I think I need to take a little break from throwing. And also I did like a tiny little drop yesterday. You probably would have seen me taking photos of everything that's in that drop. Um, right before this uh, so I just need to organize those things as well write out all the postcards and then Brooke will come in tomorrow and actually physically pack everything this, this is so flippy yeah so just organizing I if I'm being totally honest I've been spending a lot of the morning on Instagram and so I decided to pick up my camera and start filming in order to like disrupt my scrolling so hi, <laughs> that's why I'm chatting right now. So I'm gonna tidy up my desk. I'm going to start rolling out some slabs and then yeah, I'll organize everything so it's ready to ship. And get a little spreadsheet ready for Brooke so it's easy to input everything. I feel like I kinda have like a decent amount of stuff considering my next drop will be in like a month. So I think I have about uh, maybe two and a half weeks till my next bisque and we're looking good. I would love to start painting some things. I feel like the last batch I did, I didn't give myself enough time to paint things and so this time I want to make sure I'm painting like, I want to say almost two weeks ahead of when I'm bisking or like a week and a half. Obviously the brown clay stuff I don't need to paint before I bisque. It's always better if I can but I don't need to paint before I bisque because I don't glaze over top but the white clay stuff I have to paint everything before it gets bisked otherwise when I put the clear glaze on top has a tendency to get messed up. It's almost March, today's the last day of February in real time, and I'm sure you won't see this for a while because I have so much to catch up on for vlogs. Hopefully I've been consistent posting every week by now, and if I haven't, then yikes. Okay, let's just get to work, I guess. <laughs> 